Number 23. 10 cars in a circle at a boombox competition produce a 120 decibel sound intensity level at the center of the circle. What is the average sound intensity level produced there by each stereo, assuming interference effects can be neglected? All right. So basically, um, if you wanted to take a look at number 22, the problem 22 is very, very similar to this. So essentially, what we realize is that all, so here I have 10 cars in, in red uh, around a circle, and they say that at the middle, all right, the total, basically, uh, decibel level is going to be 120 decibels. So each car, I only showed one of them, but each car would be producing, you know, the same um, sound wave, basically. And what we have to realize is that, you know, the, the short answer might be, well, if it's 120 here and, you know, decibels and there's 10 cars, just take this and divide it by 10 and we're going to get our answer of 12, right? It's not, it's not that straightforward. The reason why is because the decibel value is not an absolute uh, scale, okay? So we can't simply just divide or subtract or whatever, however you want to think about it. Um, you know, we, 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 can't, uh, we can't approach it that way. So, you know, just like remember when, uh, you know, if I asked you is, uh, is, you know, 20, is 20 degrees Celsius, you know, twice the temperature of, you know, 10 degrees Celsius. The answer is, the answer is no, you know, is 20 degrees Celsius, I should say, does 20 degrees Celsius temperature have twice the heat as 10 degrees Celsius temperature? And the answer is no. All right. It's not an absolute scale. You know, you can have negative temperatures. Right? But if I asked you that about Kelvin, okay, what about the Kelvin temperature? If it was 10 versus 20, then the answer is yes, because Kelvin has an absolute zero. So same thing here. The decibels, you can have negative decibels. You might have even seen if you've been doing enough problems, right? You should have, you would have seen that, right? And that's where a lot of practice comes in handy. So we, we can't just simply divide this by 12. So, excuse me, by 10. So what do we have to do? Well, the first thing is, why don't we find the total intensity? If I know that this is the total sound level, then I can find the total intensity by simply using the formula that the decibel value beta is equal to 10 times the log base 10 of then the sound intensity divided by the threshold of hearing, which is 10 to the minus 12th. Now, if I'm going to use the total sound level here, the total decibel value, then I'm going to find the total intensity level. So let's do that, okay? And the reason, and I'll tell you why I'm going to do that after I solve this. So this is 120 is equal to 10 times the log base 10 of I over 10 to the minus 12th. Divide out the 10 from both sides, right? So this will cancel. So that's going to be now 12 is equal to log of base 10 times I over 10 to the minus 12th. Take the base. You got to get rid of the log now. So base 10 on both sides, and then basically each of these values become the exponent now of those bases. And uh, what happens there is that the log or the 10 cancels the log because they have the same base basically. And then what we realize we can base, this basically comes out of the exponent becomes now a regular, regular old fraction here with a numerator and a, denomin uh, a denominator. There's no raised value anymore. This is 10 to the minus 12th, and then this side is just 10 to the 12th. Now you can find that value if you wanted. I mean, it's basically gonna spit out one times 10 to the 12th anyway. So I'm just gonna write it in 10 to the 12th, okay? So now, what do we realize here? Well, I now can solve for i. So the sound intensity will equal, right, 10 to the 12th times 10 to the minus 12th. What does that become? Well, you're gonna simply add, right, those exponents. So this is 10 to the zero. And 10 to anything to the zero is just one. Right, so the intensity value here is going to be simply one watt per meter squared, if you like, right? Because that, those would be the units. So this is the intensity, the total intensity. Now, since intensity has an absolute scale, meaning there either is intensity or there isn't intensity, um, what we can now do is we can now basically uh, do our little manipulations. So if you know all 10 cars are producing this intensity of sound and they all are contributing equally, then we can simply just find the average, right? By what? Just simply dividing that by 10. So then I know that, uh, you know, because they basically we would add them together. I know that I1 plus then I2 plus then I3 plus then I4, etc. When I add them all together, it's going to produce the total intensity at the middle, which is going to be 1. So if each of these were basically a tenth 
a tenth, a tenth, a tenth, and I keep adding them together, it becomes one, right? So the intensity level, so I'll write it over here in blue now, the intensity level I know, you know, just simply divide this thing by 10. So I know the intensity level of a single one of them is going to be one tenth, you know, watt uh, per meter squared. If you like also, you can write that as 10 to the minus one. They're all the same thing. So this is watt per meter squared. So this is the average now intensity level. And if that's what they wanted, we would be good. But they said, what's the average sound intensity level? And you're like, well, that, 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 that is, that I found intensity. There's the word intensity. You know, this is, this is the, the, <laughs> the verbiage is always confusing. Sound intensity level. This, this extra word means decibel level. Okay. If it said average sound intensity or just average intensity, well, then we'd be done. But as soon as they put that word level, that means they want it in decibels. So guess what we got to do? Do our conversion now. So beta, so the decibel value of one of them will be equal to 10 multiplied by the log base 10 of the sound intensity level of one of them, which is 10 to the minus one, divided by the threshold of hearing 10 to the minus 12. So now you can do this math, right? So you can, this simply becomes, uh, this, sorry, <laughs> this would simply become, so it's 10 to the minus one divided by then 10 to the minus 12th. You're going to subtract these values. So it's minus one minus a negative 12, and that becomes a plus 12, right? So that's 10 to the 11th. When you take the log of 10 to the 11th, it becomes 11. And then when you multiply that by 10, it becomes 110. So that's the value now. So this is in decibels. So notice here, you know, if I had 10 cars, it's re it's reduced basically by one decibel uh, per car. But don't, you know, don't, if there was only two cars, it wouldn't be that. It, you really have to do the calculations here because it's not as straightforward even as you might be thinking. Okay. You might have say two cars. Oh, great. You know, then it would have been 119. Mm -mm. You know, you'd have to you'd have to do that calculation out and you'd notice that it wouldn't be. Try it, actually. See what you get. All right. Um, so on here, there really is no other way. You cannot simply add or subtract or do whatever on the sound intensity level. You really got to go through the calculations here to figure it out. You got to get it down to intensity. And then that's what you can start to manipulate. All right. Because intensity, again, has an absolute zero value, whereas uh, decibel level does not. You can have negative decibels. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope this helped. If it did, recommend us to your friends if they're in the same class. And even if not, we got a whole bunch of other videos coming out. So some of your friends might also find some of our other videos helpful. All right, we appreciate it very much. Have a great day.